This CFD training package contains seven different products applying the VOF or Volume of Fluid Multiphase Model by ANSYS Fluent Software. This CFD training package will help you get familiar with professional, industrial and academic CFD projects in the VOF multiphase area such as spillways, cavitation, surface evaporation, Pelton wheel, gas liquid separators, jet ski slashing tank and so on. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFD training videos by Mr. CFD. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Mr. CFD logo and subscribe. The present problem simulates the flow of water through a, a spill. The spillway wall boundary condition is a stationary wall and uh, the shear condition is no slip. As we select the uh, contours of mesh in the Y coordinate and select the volume fraction equal to 0.5 that is the hydraulic level the contour shows us the height of the hydraulic level in uh, every slide of the animation so this is the main surface that we should define then go to the playback section we can either uh, play the animation here or uh, write the animation as a record of uh, every desired format finally a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. In this project, we will simulate the cavitation process in a radial flow pump. The meshing of the present model has been done using TurboGrid software. The mesh type is structured. After double clicking on the methods button, a new window will appear. In this window, the pressure velocity coupling schemes or, uh, has been shown. Also, special discretization methods have been explained and shown. Now the pressure velocity coupling scheme is set to be coupled, which means that the pressure and uh, momentum equation are solved together and in tandem. Also the special discretization refers to the different discretization methods for each variable. Now in this pressure contour you can easily see how the pressure has increased from the inlet surface to the outlet. As you can see in this contour near, near the inlet section and on the tip of the pump blade, the volume fraction of gasoline vapor has increased, which means that the gasoline liquid has turned to vapor in this area uh, and this change from liquid to vapor will cause cavitation. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. In this project, we will simulate the surface evaporation in a solar desalination system. In this project, the surface evaporation process in a 2D solar desalination system is simulated and analyzed. In this process, the surface of the fluid water will receive the warmth of the solar rays. Then based on the principles of surface evaporation, the water molecules and the surface of the water will start to evaporate. Finally, when the gauge pressure and temperature of water vapor reaches 3000 pascals and 343.15 Kelvin respectively, it will leave the desalination system through the defined pressure outlet. The geometry of this model is designed in ANSYS Design Modeler. After double clicking on the multi phase, you will see that a new window will appear. In the appear window under the model section, you will see that volume of fluid model is selected. Also, in the number of Eulerian phases section, you will see that a number of three is written since we are simulating three phases of water, water vapor, and air. After clicking on new, a new window will appear. In the appear window, by clicking on fluent database button, New window will appear which gives us the ability to, to choose different materials from the fluent database. In the appeared window, under the momentum tab, you will see that the gauge pressure defined for this boundary is equal to 3000 pascals. There are two ways to check that your uh, simulation process have reached convergence. Alongside the checking the residuals reaching and nearing the zero, you may define some report to make sure that and equation have reached convergence. For example, by just right clicking on the report definition, going on the new, you are able to choose between different reports. For example, you can define a mass flow rate report on a arbitrary boundary based on your geometry and your simulation. You are able to see whether this mass flow has reached a constant value or not. If yes, it may be a sign that your simulation has reached convergence.
but the residual must be checked as well. Under the contours of section, you can click on the combo list and then a list will be shown to you. Among that list, you, you get to choose the, your desired variable you want to show the contours for. In the shown velocity vector contour, you can see different vertexes formed inside the computational domain. Now the result behind this formation of vertexes and streams inside this desalination system is the effect of surface evaporation, which causes the water liquid to change its phase from liquid to gas. And after this phase change, the density of water will decrease. Hence, it will go up due to the gravitational force. Now in this velocity vector contour, which is the velocity vectors of flows and currents near the outward boundary, and you can see the flows and currents near the outward boundary zone and also in the lateral walls. As was mentioned in previous slide, there is a heat generation rate on the lateral walls which uh, causes the water vapor to even go higher in the desalination system, as you can see and shown by its velocity vectors. Also, you can see a downward velocity vectors, uh, which is actually related to the water liquid. Now, as I've mentioned before, this project is about the surface evaporation, and it mentioned it states that evaporation occurs at any temperature. So, this project is all about the phase changes between liquid and vapors in every second. So. Uh, as can be seen in this uh, contour, a portion of water, water liquid, water vapor actually, uh, exits the desalination systems via the outlet boundary, and a portion of water uh, vapor again changes into water liquid and, and falls downward to the water reservoir. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. In this project, we will simulate a water wheel on which the water flows and causes it to rotate. In this project, the rotation of a water turbine is simulated. As was explained in previous slides, the water flow enters the computational domain and passes from the turbine blades, which causes the turbine blades to rotate. The geometry of turbine is designed by SolidWorks software and divided into a smaller section to improve the geometry and mesh of the turbine. The geometry is divided into two general sections of rotary and stationary section. The rotor part consists of a turbine and the cylinder that is located around the turbine, and the stationary part actually surrounds the rotatory cylinder. In the phases tab section, you can see that two phases of air and water are defined. Also, you can add a new phase by clicking on add phase button. It should uh, be noted that you have to add a new material in the material section before doing this. Adding a material will be elucidated in the material section. As for the rotary part of the geometry uh, under the cell zone condition, uh, after double clicking on the fluid R, which stands for the rotary section, you can see that a new window will appear showing you that the mesh motion is activated. By clicking on Mesh Motion tab, uh, you can see that under the Rotational Velocity section, the speed of rotation is set to be 60 RPM. After double clicking on the method, you will see that a new window will appear showing you the pressure velocity coupling. Also, you, will, you can see that uh, the special discretization methods are shown in this window. Also, you can change this discretization into other formats, like you can change them into first order oven and the other options available for each variable under their combo list. And for the simple pressure velocity coupling, uh, the simple algorithm is kind of an iterative solver which uses a relationship between velocity and pressure correction to enforce mass conservation and to obtain the pressure field. Now by clicking on the first report, which is a momentum report, you can see that the software will automatically calculate the momentum of phases on zones and surfaces like leading edge and water wheel. Uh, actually, you can add this uh, report by clicking on new and then going on to the force report and then clicking on momentum report. In the presented contour, you can easily see the 
increased pressure on the tip of the blade uh, where the water flow touches the turbine. In this contour you can easily see how the turbine has rotated and, uh, and you can see the interface between uh, two phases of air and water. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. The problem number five analyzes the process of separating the liquid phase from the gas using a horizontal cylindrical separator. In this project, an attempt has been made to investigate the effect of the movement of a jet ski on the border of two fluids, water and air interface. The present simulation and its results are considered to be steady and do not change as a function of time. The implicit formulation is more stable than the explicit and the solution convergence is also easier. ANSYS Fluent can model the effect of open channel flow, for example rivers, dams and surface piercing structure in unbounded streams using the VOF formulation and the open channel boundary condition. These flows involve the existence of a free surface between the flowing fluid and fluid above it, generally the atmosphere. In such cases, the wave propagation and free surface behavior becomes important. Flow is generally governed by the forces of gravity and inertia. This feature is mostly applicable to marine applications and the analysis of flow through drainage systems. In the simulations that we are using VOF model, it is so important that uh, identify the reference pressure location. This point should be at the toppest place of the computational domain that the air is existing there and we are sure about that the air exists in this point and also the operating density of this point is equal to 1.225 and that we can see in the operating density in this section so we identified z equal to 10 and here we should identify the zero against the volume fraction of the water as the second phase that it shows that no water is allowed to enter from the up boundary condition. Here is the air volume fraction bond, uh, two dimensional contour. In this contour you can see and check the velocity contour that the maximum velocity almost is equal to 11 meter per second and also the turbulent kinetic energy. The drag force occurs in the y direction in this CFT simulation based on the direction of the jet ski. The applied settings are recapitulated in these following tables as a review. In this project, we will simulate the fluid flow in a sloshing tank. The present model is meshed inside ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type used for this geometry is a structure. Also, the element number is equal to 25,340. By clicking on check button, uh, you will see that under the console tab, the fluid software will start to check your mesh for any errors. For several assumption taken into account for our project, first, the type of our solver is defined to be pressure based since we are dealing with incompressible flows. As for the velocity formulation, we have selected the absolute format, and as for the time study, we have selected the transient time study since we are dealing with a time progressing phenomenon. Also, since we have a two-dimensional geometry, we have selected the planar 2D space and we have enabled the gravity which has a value of minus 9.81 in y direction. Now in order to simulate the two phases of air and water, we double click on the multiphase button and in the appeared window, we select the volume of fluid model. Also in order to simulate the free surface of the water flow, we enable the level set option and as you can see, we have enabled the implicit body force since we had enabled the gravity in the previous slide. Also under the options section you can see that we have selected the sharp interface modeling with the interfacial anti-diffusion. After clicking on user defined tab we go to our functions and click on it and then select compiled. In the appeared window we click on add button and we select the UDF 
which is given to you with the rest of the files and then click on build and then click on load after double clicking on the method you will see that a new window will appear showing you the pressure velocity coupling also you will you can see that uh, the special discretization methods are shown in this window also you can change the discretization into other formats like you can change them into first order event and the other options available for each variable under their combo list and for the simple pressure velocity coupling uh, the simple algorithm is kind of an iterative solver which uses a relationship between velocity and pressure correction to enforce mass conservation and to obtain the pressure field after double clicking on the controls button in the middle section of the software window you can see that new part will appear in the appear part you can see under relaxation factors for different parameters now these values are set here by the software automatically you can change these values which are between 0 and 1 by yourself for different projects you do but it is highly recommended that you do not do that since it may result in divergence after double clicking on the residuals button a new window will appear in the appear window you can see the absolute criteria for equations like continuity, x velocity, y velocity and so on now when you set the software to start the simulation there would be error between each iteration now if that error is less than this criterion uh, it conveys the meaning that uh, that equation has reached convergence now if you pay attention here you can see that the value of the water volume fraction here is equal to zero meaning that there isn't any water inside our computational domain at the starting point therefore we need to introduce the section where water exists at the starting point to do that we click on domain now after defining the region where water exists in our computational domain we click on patch button and in the appeared window under the face section we select water and we set the value of volume fraction to 1 and then under the registers to patch we select the water region and click on patch button and now in this slide you can easily see the contours of air volume fraction at the final time step finally a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFT services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at